Welcome, my dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Thursday, August the 3rd, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year we are following Dr. John MacArthur's excellent book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. And our entry for today is entitled, Filling Up an Empty filling up an empty word. Uh, The scriptures, again, we quote from 1 Corinthians 12, verse 31. Now eagerly desire the greater gifts, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. Our thought is that biblical love is characterized by humility, obedience to God, and and self-sacrifice. Pastor MacArthur writes, in our society, love is a common word, but an uncommon experience. Often those who use the word most understand it least. Many who think they've found love have really settled for something far less than God intended for them. For many, love means a romantic or sexual relationship. While scripture has much to say about intimacy within marriage, the word love takes on a different meaning in the New Testament. Even in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, husbands love your wives, it doesn't really refer to romantic love. Other common errors include equating love with emotionalism or sentimentality, or confusing it with a friendly spirit of tolerance and brotherhood toward others, often apart from any consideration for doctrinal purity or biblical convictions. But biblical love is none of those. The more excellent way, Paul refers to in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 31, is love that comes from God himself and conforms to his holy attributes. We have no capacity to generate this on our own. The Greek word for that kind of love is agape, and it is characterized by humility, obedience to God, and self-sacrifice. In the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 1, we read, Uh, It says of Christ's love for his disciples. He loved them to the end. That literally means he loved them to perfection, to the limits of love. In verses 4 and 5, he demonstrates his love by washing their feet. Love is humble. It focuses on meeting needs. In addition, love is obedient and willing to make sacrifices for others. Jesus said, if you love me you will keep my commandments. That's in the gospel according to John chapter 14, verse 15. God made the supreme sacrifice for us in that he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Of course, that's the gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16. 1 Corinthians 13 applies to Christians of every generation because we all face the danger of misusing our spiritual gifts. As we study this and other passages about love, ask yourself if your love is all that God wants it to be. If not, take note of what changes you need to make in light of what you're learning. Dear friends, I commend you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to listen to this devotional reflection as written by John MacArthur. And I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've placed them in the description portion of this video for you so that you can have them as a reference and to take your study deeper, which will help you understand these things and grow closer to Christ in your discipleship walk. Until we can be together tomorrow to hear the next installment in Pastor MacArthur's devotional book, I bid you go in the grace and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ.